Hi everyone, thanks for joining the session today. I am Maru, a developer relations engineer working to help developers to be successful on Android and Google Play products. In this session, we will cover the developer toolset for Google Play games on PC. I'll give you a brief overview of our new developer emulator, and Enzo will walk you through the deep dive emulator demonstration and roadmap for the emulator. Let's get started. Google Play Games launched last year in specific countries such as Korea, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And our goal is to expand to most of the major regions and now in open beta. Google Play Games on PC uses the same Google Play console with a different track like Wear OS or Android Auto. Also, you can expand it to Chrome OS once you support Google Play Games on PC. In the previous session, you could see a basic concept of multi-platform support, including Google Play Games on PC and its developer success story from our beta-launched countries. Before jumping into the developer toolset, I'd like you to review the technical requirements. If you plan to port your fantastic mobile game to Google Play Games on PC. There are five main requirements for Google Play Games on PC. After you submit your game, Google will review your game whether it meets our requirements. Good news that Google Play Games supports many Google Play APIs and features, such as bidding library and Play Integrity API. So you don't have to re-implement the, asso the associated features. To start the development under our developer emulator, you would support two requirements first, and then you can debug and test with your APK file iteratively. First and the most important part is to support x86 architecture for your PC build and we recommend it to select x86 64-bit for better memory space and performance. Most major game engines support x86 and x86 64-bit AVIs for now. In terms of the PC compatibility part, there are uh, a number of Android features and permissions that are unsupported in Google Play games such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, camera, location, and microphone. A general rule is that your PC build should never pop up a permission dialog for PC build. So you need to review your manifest file and the dependencies carefully, including your third-party analytics library or SDK. Also, if you need to read and write the data in your local storage. You might need to use scoped storage to avoid using permission pop-ups. Also, as are not currently permitted in Google Play games, although you can leave your as SDK in your mobile and Chrome OS players. To support this, you can use separate build or use features feature flags to determine whether or not you should include in-game advertisement. For the rest of the other three requirements, such as graphics, device input, and cross-platform play, you can follow our next talk. From this slide, I'm going to talk about the developer emulator and the developer tools for your Google Play games on PC build process. First, uh, you just need to download the developer emulator and you can download directly from our developer website coming soon. Once you finish the installer downloading, you will install the emulator application on your Windows PC with admin permission. Here are uh, key features uh, for developer emulator. As I mentioned earlier, the developer emulator is a developer focused build of Google Play Games specially designed for your debug and build process. Unlike the player experience, the developer emulator allows you to deploy games directly such as side-loading APK via ADB command 
or using Android Studio to adjust some graphics and hardware settings to validate different player configurations. Aspect ratio is one good example to test it out by yourself. If your game is only portrait support, you could update the settings in the developer options. Lastly, the developer emulator could collect the log data and share it to Google like other Google products to detect major issues that you faced during your development. We will examine the issue. There are a couple of misunderstandings from developers about uh, testing emulator before they ship it to players. So let me explain a bit about difference between developer and production emulator using the Dragon Ball Legends title as an example use case. Dragon Ball Legends is known as one of the major mobile game title, and we are excited to announce that the game is coming to Google Play Games on PC. The game mostly uses portrait mode, and so you can modify the settings in developer emulator. For the production emulator, it detects automatically if you declare it in a, in a manifest file and use portrait window mode by default. I'll show you the major difference for now. In a developer emulator, it might be pretty straightforward for developers, and you could feel the developer emulator has quite similar UI and UX to our regular Android mobile or tablet device. You can install your developed application and test it out. Google Play Games on PC doesn't allow players to play multiple instances so that you can evaluate your application without any interruption from other applications. You can see the Android app launcher to select your developed app and Google Play Store app. There are hidden commands such as Ctrl plus B and Ctrl plus H. Ctrl plus B would be a back window and Ctrl plus H would be going back to the menu window. In the production emulator, you could be guided from Google Play website of the game. You can click install on Windows if the game is ready to release for Google Play games on PC. If your region started the beta launch and you've already installed the production emulator, you can just click yes, open beta to launch the launch application. Then your install process continues on the launch application and the game will be launched in Google Play Games on PC production emulator. If you have a saved game on the mobile with the same PGS account, you could play from saved game status seamlessly. Now let's dive into the details of the emulator with a couple of demonstrations. And so hand it over to Enzen. Thanks, Maru. I'm Enjun Huang, software engineer for Google Play Games. After we install the Google Play Games on PC Developer Emulator, we can start it from the Windows desktop icon or start menu. A Windows tray icon will also show up. The emulator is initially in windowed mode. Press F11 to toggle full screen mode and windowed mode. If you use Android Studio or Unity to develop and debug your games, Android Studio or Unity can automatically detect the Google Play games on PC emulator, so you can deploy your games to it directly. Here is how it looks on the Android Studio. Using ADB command line tool, we can interact with the Google Play Games emulator. Google Play Games on PC developer emulator supports most popular game engines, including Unity, Unreal, Cocos, and more, to provide the game player the best experience and performance. Google Play Games 
recommends x86 64-bit packaging for your game. Google Play Games on PC Developer Emulator provides several developer tools to facilitate game development. Using the Windows tray icon, a developer can set the game's aspect ratio, which may require restarting your game to take effect. For poultry mode games, choose the 9 by 16 option. Another developer option is to set Vulkan settings. For most newer Windows hardware, Vulkan is supported. If a developer wants to test games for non-Vulkan devices, use this option to turn it off. Restarting the whole emulator may be required. In the next version of Google Play Games on PC Developer Emulator in the near future, we will provide a few new tools to help developers bring their games to Google Play Games on PC and reach millions more game players. Here are a couple previews for these tools. Game Validation Tool when a game has finished development and is ready for publication, run this validation tool to check if it passes all Google Play requirements and recommendations, so there will be no delays for your game to be approved and published to the Google Play games on PC. Feedback tools. Developing for PC users can be different from developing for mobile phones. When a developer needs some help for a game error, or for a performance issue, or a crash problem, use this tool to report the problem and reach out to our engineering teams for help. Graphic tools. Google Play Games on PC Emulator will add support to graphic tools like the Android GPU Inspector, AGI. In our session, we had a brief introduction for the Google Play Games on PC Emulator. It provides the tool a mobile developer needs to bring their mobile games to millions of PC users. For documentation, examples, and how to download the emulator, please visit our developer website. Thank you. Happy coding.